Shell Cahill presents Pet Portrait Fun. Paint your own pet home portrait kit. Your pack will include a watercolor set. Inside the watercolor set will be a paintbrush and a hard pencil. You'll be using this for tracing. And also includes a map frame. You'll be using this at the end. It's got a backboard and it's in a protective plastic sleeve. And then there's the portrait that we're going to work on. This is the photo that you email me and I have it taped to the front. You can pull that off gently. Be careful because it's tracing paper attached to it. And then you're going to hold that to the side. You'll use this for doing the watercolor portion. But for now, underneath, there's the sketch. You'll see that there's two sheets here. There's the sheet with the sketch of your animal. And a carbon sheet. One side has graphite on it, and the other side. The graphite side should be down. So we're gonna slide that underneath. And this is the watercolor sheet that's taped to the board. This is gonna be your final portrait. So putting the graphite pencil down, and then lining your drawing back up. So we're going to take our hard pencil. This is the first step. And we're going to trace over our drawing. You can throw in a few details of the, the grass if you want, or you can just leave that for the paint. But you're most concerned about is getting the hard outlines, the eyes, the nose, tongue, all the way around. And you can put some details in here. So press hard on this portion. If you want to see if it's going through, lift up both sheets and peek underneath and see if the drawing is coming through. So almost done here with retracing. We'll peek underneath, see if I'm missing anything. See, I didn't really fill in any of that in the chest because I'll, I'll watercolor that in. Let's see. As long as most important is the ears and the eyes and the nose, and you make you make sure you got all the paws and the any kind of little outlines, the major outlines. If there's any gaps, go back, just put it back down again, and then tape it down, and then keep going. You want a few more of the details. Put some of these stripes in here. I think. I think I'm ready almost to paint here. Let's just take a shake. So here's our watercolor set. You can put your pencil off to the side. And we're gonna start with our take our little brush out. The watercolors are dry right now, so what I'm gonna do, you're gonna need two things to add. You're gonna need get yourself a cup of water and some paper towel. Paper towel is important in watercolor because this is basically your eraser. You'll see there's a white in the palette. If you want to make something white in watercolor, the idea is don't color it in because it's already white, it's the paper. And don't worry if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you just make sure that you put a lot of water on your brush and then you'll use water basically as the eraser. So if you make a mistake, you're going to put water on it and then and dab it and remove the color from it. lid as a palette you know, for mixing. So 
this dog is it's got a bit of orange got some brown he's got white on the nose a little white on the paws and the background I don't know if I'm gonna do that stairs I think I'm gonna do something fun but we'll, we'll figure out that color later you can make it ideally as exactly the photograph or have fun the idea is it's your painting you should enjoy it so let's mix some colors here so for to get that orange of the dog I'm gonna mix a little yellow and in this palette I've marked off black brown purple and navy because sometimes they're hard to see the difference because they're all so dark so I'm making kind of a orangey notice I'm mixing a bunch of colors in there this is a great way to see what color you're making so a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange have fun by mixing the colors make a nice color Again, I'm going to put a little bit of water on it. Let's start with the ears. And with watercolor, you're going to you start. You always start with the lighter colors, and then you build up. Once it get once the watercolor dries, you can start building into it. I'm going to paint his face. He's got a little white streak on his nose, so. just keeping his eyes don't worry if you if you make a mistake or if you go over kind of like actually brown almost so it's not really bad so in order if you really want to get a nice black okay we're gonna make this in, in a separate section so it doesn't mix with the other I'm gonna mix a little navy a little purple a little brown more black that's kind of a purpley color, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick a little green in there. More black, a little more navy. There. I'm building up a nice color there. Purple, a little black. If it gets too blue, you just add a little red. It's like the, all the colors of the rainbow make this a little more, a little more navy. There, got a nice black. So this is a good color for his shirt. It's like that grayish. same color make it a little bit lighter don't worry about adding white everyone tries to add white that that's only when you want to use make something pastel if you want to make it lighter take that take your that same color you're using just add more water see how it just gets lighter and lighter so it's black and there and then we can let it dry if you want to go into the details later we'll, we'll do another layer this part is a little bit darker over here. And when it pools up like this, if you don't want it to be like that, that's where you go. A little bit of paper towel. Boop. Just remove a little bit. Just tap it a little bit like that. When you go in between colors, just remember clean off your brush so there we go and nice it's fun do 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 and then this face
Visit PetPortraitFun.com for more great pet portraits.